and I almost slapped that nigga in the fucking face, bro. I, bro, I almost got up from my fucking chair and smacked that nigga in the face. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. I'm back to college, bro. This is a train finna be packed. For me, four train finna be packed. Seven train finna be packed. For me, like it's the first. Fuck it, they scored up already late. The first E is fine. I just I don't like the fact that I gotta go all the way to Queens though. For me, and that bitch ass rule for me. And that bitch ass advisor. Listen, I told this advisor. This advisor don't help for shit. Like I don't know if anybody else has problems with ASAP advisors. ASAP advisors don't help you, bro. Like I swear to God, they just don't. I'm supposed to get an ASAP Metro card, feel me? I'm supposed to get an ASAP Metro card, and I haven't gotten it. So now I got to go and fucking wait in line, probably, to get an Omni card so I can go to school because the cops, they be standing right there and shit. So, and they don't believe you when you tell them that, you know, it's for college. You know, you still got to pay, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, I got a pass. Like, I got a free pass. Like, no, no, bro. Well, you're going to get a ticket, bro. For me. And it's easier to get away with shit for me when it's uh for me when it's uh for me bus. But um it's harder to get away with shit when it's um when they standing right there in the train station, bro. But I don't know, bro. All I know is I'm gonna have to pay today. For me, I'm uh, after I'm gonna go to the office. I'm almost at three minutes after I'm gonna go to the office and I'm gonna try to get my, my ASAP call for me, my ASAP army for me. That's what I need for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going to, to college two days a week, so that's what I'm gonna need for me. And my hair was, for me, it, it was good, bro. My hair was good, it was curly, I was gonna go in my hair out, but I'm, like, I'm not gonna go in my hair out, bro. Cause first of all, new semester, I don't know if anybody got PO over there or got lights or anything like that for me, so I'm gonna just tie my hair with my hat for me. For me, my hair was nice and curly today, though. Like, shit, bro, my hair was kinda beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. And right here, I was trying to tell something to the camera, right? But I didn't connect my mic correctly. So I was going to try to guess what I was like, for me, what I was saying. Like, I was going to try to uh, read my lips or whatever so I can do a voiceover, right? But I have no clue what I'm saying. I dad has forgot what I was saying in the morning. Like, it's been a stressful as day. I'm not going to lie. So I dad has forgot what I was saying in the morning. But I'm not going to lie, what I think I was saying here was that, like, the train was packed, so I had to let a train go, because I was going up the stairs, and the train was full. I think that's what I was saying, because it was, I'm not going to lie, it was full. So I just let that shit go, for me? So I was waiting for another train. I think that was what I was saying, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was, for me? I'm like, I'm like 50% sure that's what I was saying, but I'm not going to lie, bro. So I know I talked about the train, so I don't know what else I was talking about. <laughs> And just like that, bro, I'm back to this bitch-ass college, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Bro, I'm all the way fucking cool, bro. I just got out of the fucking train. Bro, I hope this shit's connected. But lo and behold, I was looking over the footage and my mic wasn't connected. And I have my tripod in my bag, but it's funny, like security, you know. I just got my child out of my bag. I'm not gonna lie, I don't fuck this shit. I hate this shit. I don't wanna go to this shit, bro. I don't, bro. I don't wanna go to this shit, like, little key. But here I am, bro. Now I gotta go to the last fucking building and go all the way to the seventh fucking floor. That shit ain't for me, yo. I don't want to do that shit. Another fucking semester here, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. I hate this shit, bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. If any of you out in colleges, like, for me, around my home, had the fucking, had the major, bro, I want to be over here right now, bro. Not going to lie. Fucking bullshit, man. 
Anyways, I'm back over in this bitch ass car. Right there. LaGuardia, bro. Bro, now I'm out here. I gotta try to locate the fucking classroom, bro. I gotta try to locate the fucking classroom, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I hate that shit already. I wanna go home, bro. I wanna go fucking home. What's up? What's up? Nah, where the fuck is this shit, bro? What the fuck? Bro, why is it that professors is always late on the first day, bro? I was worried for no fucking reason. I was stressing out. I woke up early. I was stressing out, bro, over no fucking reason. Professor's always late on the first day. That's just a fucking fact, bro. That's just a fucking fact, bro. Bro, I don't know what time it is, bro. It's 9.41. Everybody's still out the classroom waiting for the professor. Like, where they at? I don't know. I don't know where she at, yo. All I know is that it's better because we're missing time. Like, we ain't got to deal with all that shit from the first day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping that the second professor for my next class is late too, bro, because I, I don't like that shit. Bro, nah, bro. I was stressing for no fucking reason, bro. I don't know, bro. That about happened to any of y'all, but y'all let me know in the comments, bro. Uh, that's like every teacher from last semester, this semester, always late on the first day, bro. That's just, that's just the thing, apparently. Especially here at LaGuardia, bro. That's just your thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways. I never really been on this floor that much. I might go out to ruin this floor where the professor gets here. Cause why not? Shit. I'm bored. I need to do something, bro. It's some bullshit. My mic is dead, so forgive me. I'm gonna have to clean this audio. But I can't just fill me a bunch of empty ass classrooms everywhere. Empty. Empty. There's actually people in that one. I'm not gonna lie. Another empty classroom. Empty. I don't know, bro. If I do a full circle and there's still no professor, that's that's crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Bunch of vending machines everywhere as always. Paintings, 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 paintings. Now that over there is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That over there is crazy. Paintings, paintings. Yo, I just look like uh, Ashley. the lady from the boys, bro. Look Ashley. At me. That's that as her, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. A bunch of paintings of naked people, bro. Crazy bullshit. And that's Kimiko, bro. Literally exactly like her. And I don't know what that means, because, you know, paintings have a meaning. I don't know what that is. That's like the darkness coming at you. And that one looks cool, though. I'm not going to lie. like that one. No, I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. I got to get more comfortable filming. I gotta get more comfortable filming, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I'm like, let me just pull my phone. <laughs> so fucking filming, bro. Cause I gotta get comfortable with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't this the, the killer from like the 1990s in, in uh, California or whatever? That's what that looks like. I'm not gonna lie, it's a. Uh, and they still over there waiting too. Actually, that might be the professor right there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's probably the professor. I'm gonna turn this shit down now. Hold up, what the fuck is going on, bro? Like, why is my camera acting like that, bro? Like, was I getting haunted, bro? Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Yeah, that's that's a professor. All right, tune in later. And the professor, bless her soul, you know, she's up your heat, so she didn't know how to turn on the projector for me. So we were all here waiting for like. 10 or 15 minutes waiting until yeah. somebody came to fix it and you know the crazy part is that the only thing they did was okay. switch a button and that shit turned on like that's kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie bro just finished the first class 
for me. The the professor's super nice and shit. I like her, but she's too she's too old, bro. How can I say this in the nicest way possible? Like I need somebody with more energy. Like she's nice and shit, but it's like for me, like <laughs> bro, she took she took ten minutes. So I only have like six minutes to, to get to my next class. And my next class is all the way in the uh front building. So there's four buildings here. And now I'm in the last building. Got to get all the way to the front building in like seven minutes. I don't think I'm going to make it. Uh, but in general, I like that professor. I just need a faster professor for me. And the topics, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, she went over the syllabus and shit. Uh, I don't think, fuck, I don't think that shit's working. I don't know. My Not gonna lie, last semester, my professor, he had too much energy and it was all about politics. I didn't like that. This semester, she has very little energy. And I don't know. But I'm a stick with it. I can't keep changing professors. I don't know. So, this is literally less than five minutes. Until class starts, I'm going to be late. There's no way I can make it. I hate this shit, bro. I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, she was too slow and shit. Uh, but, um, I don't know, bro. I'm trying this shit out, bro. Like, personally, bro, she, she dad has kept talking. Like, the time's time. She kept talking. But, and then this next teacher that I got to go to, this next professor, right? Last last semester, I transferred out of his class. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I had this professor, right? And, like, the first day that I went to his class, I transferred out. So now I have his class again. That I, the one that I'm going to be late to. But y'all yeah, know, bro. I hate this shit, bro. So now I got to run over there. At the end, I got to come back over here and see what the fuck is up with the army car. I mean, I already bought one of these shits. I just rather have the school one, the school one. Because I ain't trying to pay for this shit. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Look, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, I might have to drop that professor, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, listen, that professor's a dick. I had him last year or last semester. I had him for one class. After one class, I decided to fucking to drop out of his shit. Shit, what the fuck happened to my head? What the fuck? Listen, bro. After one semester, after one uh, class, I decided to drop his shit and change professors. I might do that shit again because he's a massive dick. And he's even worse than he was last year. He said, if you're late more than twice or if you missed more than two classes, that's an F. He said, if I see your phone now in class, that's an F. He said, if you have headphones on, that's an F. I might have to drop that class respectfully. Like, honestly... He got to be the biggest, the biggest douchebag professor there is in this whole school, bro. Like LaGuardia, bro. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And he was like making jokes. Oh, I bet like half of you guys are gonna, are gonna drop out of my class by the end of the day or whatever. Listen, dead ass. He's a massive dick. Like dead ass, bro. Bro, a couple people got got like ten minutes late, right? And I got there like three minutes late, but he didn't say shit. But a couple people got there like ten minutes late. And he's like, I'll talk to you after class. So don't go nowhere. I was like, yo, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. Like he said that to them and the second they walked in through the door. Like I might I might end up fucking I might end up uh dropping his shit. I'm not gonna lie. I can't deal with that. Hell no. Listen, I'm the type of I don't like I don't like uh problems, I don't like arguments for me. And I feel like his class is just gonna be a problem for me, like now I gotta now I gotta clean my hat, bro. I gotta get a water and clean my hat because I ain't walking around like that. You feel me? I can't do that shit respectfully. And I gotta go back too because he gave us a break because we're moving classrooms. So I gotta go back now in like in like five minutes, bro. So respectfully, I'm gonna jump off of this and I'm gonna get back to y'all after I finish this class, bro. But yeah, bro, I might have to change professors because he was he was going a little crazy right there. I don't know. Jolly, that's his name, bro. So if you go to LaGuardia, don't pick that nigga. I swear to God. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm out now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I might. I might that ass just drop out of that class. I'm not sure. But I don't know, though. I gotta think about it, feel me?
Cause this is the thing, bro. Like, I'm not trying to do. I'm not trying to fuck up my schedule, bro. Like, dead ass don't like that professor. But I'm really not trying to fuck up my schedule, bro. Like, dead ass. I'm. I like the schedule that I have right now. So I don't want to fuck that up by changing professors. Feel me? If y'all here, bro, empanada right there. Let's see if the lady, if she got, if she got pollo, bro. Cause earlier I was over here and she had pollo, bro. All she had was cheese and beef, and that's gross, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, bro. Let, bro, let me tell y'all something, bro. Cause I just came back from a fucking meeting with my ASAP advisor, and I almost slapped that nigga in the fucking face, bro. I, bro, I almost got up from my fucking chair and smacked that nigga in the face. And listen, bro, I'm not the type of nigga that likes to get violent, bro. Like, back in middle school, like, I, I, bro, back in middle school, if you test me, I test you back, nigga. Like, look, back back when I was young, bro, you cannot test me like that, bro. But this nigga, bro, now I've calmed down, feel me? Like, I don't, I don't respond to that sort of shit. But I almost smacked that motherfucker in the face, bro. Because that motherfucker, the second I walked in there, he was being disrespectful. And I'm trying to be respectful as possible, bro. I'm trying to be the most respectful possible. And he's being disrespectful as fuck. So first of all, right? So I was supposed to do a fucking uh, a class in the summer. Fuck LaGuardia. Fuck ASAP. Listen, I was supposed to do a class in the summer, feel me? But in the summer, I got work and I had school. But I wasn't complaining about that. I'm like, I'll do it, feel me? I came to a couple days of class. I'm waiting for my new fucking um, Metro card, right? And those motherfuckers never sent that shit. So then I text him in the summer. I'm like, yo, what's good with the Metro? Feel me? And he said, oh, you're not getting that shit. He said, you're not getting that shit. We don't, we're not giving that shit out for the summer. I'm like, what the fuck? Listen, that shit pissed me off. I'm like, what the fuck, right? But I'm like, I was respectful back then. I was like, yo, so if you're not going to get, if y'all not going to give me the Metro card in the summer, respectfully, I can't do the fucking class, feel me? And I'm not trying to jump the fucking gate every single fucking day. I'm not trying to do that shit. Look, look, they be on dick, boy. Especially over here in Queens. Like, you try to jump that shit, but nah, go back, bro. You telling me a student, nah, go back. Listen. Right? So, a couple weeks go back in the summer, right? He's, he texts me a couple times. Like, first of all, he takes mad long to respond. You text him, he's the worst advisor ever. You text him, and he doesn't respond to you. For like a whole like two three weeks for me, and what he does is what a fucking attitude, bro. Like advisors are not supposed to be like that for me. Uh, I don't know where. Like a couple weeks ago, he texted me with an attitude, bro, and I'm like, bro, I just lost somebody for me. Like chill, bro. I'll do this. I'll do that for me. And he still talked to me with an attitude. I ended up doing that shit right. Today is about the first day back, so I come to class. Right, I'm like, let me figure out the whole, the whole um Omni or MetroCard situation. Let me go to the ASAP office. The second I seen him, bro, he was a, he was a fucking dick, bro. Like, why you gotta, why you gotta talk to me like that? I'm trying to talk to you nice, and you gotta, you gotta talk to me with an attitude. I tell you, I remind you, I lost somebody in the summer, right? And you still talk to me with an attitude. I haven't logged into my, to my, uh, to my CUNY start since like. I don't know, June, because shit, I haven't, I haven't been over here, bro, because they didn't give me the Metro card in the summer. And on my phone, it's automatic. I don't have to put, like, I don't have to type in the password or whatever, so he made me, he made me redo it, right? And he's like, you're doing too much, blah, 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 like, redo this shit, don't forget that shit. Like, I can't have you forget that shit. I'm like, bro, I had it written down, I put it on the thing, it didn't come out right. I don't know what happened. But anyways, I redid that shit. So then he's, he's talking mad shit to me like, bro, chill out, bro. At this point, I'm getting mad, bro, because he, he just started saying some random shit to me. So he just started saying some random shit to me, right? I'm just getting mad. Uh, and then he's like, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me move, bro, there's people over there. That nigga, that nigga, why you got to go over there, bro? I'm telling you a story. I'm telling you a story. Listen, All right? So he's like, he's saying mad shit, right? He was mad because I added a uh, class to, to the second part, and the class is full, right? The class got full, 
But he was like, oh, you shouldn't have fucking... He, was like, he didn't say fucking. But he was like, you shouldn't have... Uh, you shouldn't have put that class in the in the second part because now you're going to have to do two classes in the second part. And the second part is like six weeks, so it's short as fuck. So I'm like, I don't mind doing two parts. And he's like, no. And he was like, no, there's not enough. I'm going to add more classes to your schedule because um, this is you need to be a full-time student. So I was like, fuck, bro. But anyways, he was being rude. And I'm, a, I'm already pissed, right? But I'm still like trying to, trying to be nice for me. And he... And, like, he's asking me about me, like, before that, before that, he asked me about me, I responded, I asked him how he was, cool shit, whatever, for me. But then after all that shit, that way he was pissing me off, right? He goes, um, I haven't been doing what you need to be doing, right? You didn't do the summer class, and you haven't been doing the meetings with me. So I'm like, he's like, you should have been doing that. He's like, you should have done that. And I'm like, this is what I said. I said, I didn't come during the summer and I didn't come from meetings because y'all. Yeah. And then he stopped me right there. He said, y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, like a fucking Karen, like motherfucker. Shut the fuck. Why you got to, why you got to act like that? My nigga, you a grown ass fucking man, bro. But I wasn't trying to go to jail, but he was being disrespectful as fuck. Like what kind of advisor talks that way to a fucking student, bro? So he's like. He's like, y'all, and I'm like, I'm trying to tell him, like, you guys. I said, you guys. And he's like, no, not you guys, you. It was you. It was your fault. He's like, you should have been doing this. You should have been doing that. I'm like, listen, I got work, and I got school. Feel me? I can't jump over the fucking thing. And my job, feel me? Like, nigga, listen, bro. I'm not going to be paying for that shit. So I need an Omni, or I'm not going to do that shit. Feel me? And he wants to be disrespectful as fuck. Like... He's not letting me talk. He's talking over me. He's kind of yelling at me at this point. And there's mad people around, bro. So at this point, bro, I'm mad as fuck, feel me? And what was the last thing he said? Because he said one last thing that to, to take me on, bro. It's your future, man. Blah, 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 blah. Like, listen, nigga. Shut the fuck up, first of all, bro. Like, look, bro. I'm, bro. When I say he brought out the demon in me, I'm telling you, bro, he brought out the fucking demon in me, bro. I was about to smack that nigga in the fucking face, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. All that advisor does is be rude, bro. Like, he's always rude. Every single time I have a meeting with him, he's always rude. Every time I text um, through Microsoft Teams, he's always rude. Like, that, he's just mad fucking rude, bro. I was about to smack that nigga in the fucking face. And then I'm like, you know what, bro? If I smack this nigga in the fucking face, I'm gonna go to jail. I ain't trying to put nothing on my record, bro. I'm like, let me just take my shit and get the fuck out of here, bro. Let me get the fuck out of here. And when I got up, right, I'm like, fuck this shit, first of all. Because I was about to go, uh, and then he started yelling a bunch of shit at me. He's like, you don't want to help yourself, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you want to be like that, then fine. I'm like, listen, you was being disrespectful to me first. Like, I was being chill. I was being good. Like, why you got to be disrespectful to me? So I'm like, fuck that shit. And I and I got the fuck out of there, bro. He was still yelling shit at me when I left and did, bro. At this point, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I don't know, bro. I might have to, I don't know, bro. Because that shit pissed me the fuck off, bro. Like, to, bro, for you to piss me off so much that I got the urge to slap you is a crazy thing. Because I don't get like that no more, feel me? Like, it's been a long ass time since... Said somebody has pissed, pissed me off to the point where I want to slap him right away. It's been mad long since that shit happened. I mean, fucking want to slap so, somebody so bad. Damn. He pissed me off, though. He's, he's a bad advisor. Listen, how can I report him, bro? Because I feel like reporting him because he's not he's not advisor material. Like, he's, he's dead as a bad advisor. Like, if y'all go to LaGuardia and y'all have Mark for me, let me fucking know. Because that nigga, that nigga, I don't know, but there's something wrong with that nigga, like, mentally, bro. There's something wrong with that nigga mentally, bro. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, y'all nigga said, he, 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 you know one thing he told me when I was walking out? He said, you're not getting an Omni. You're not getting a Metro. I bet if I'm not getting an Omni, I'm not getting a Metro car, nigga, then I'm dropping out, nigga. Like, or I'm... I'm going to change your visor, nigga. Like, fuck you, nigga. Like, that ass. You don't got to be so disrespectful like that, nigga. Like, I swear to God, you don't got to be so disrespectful. If a student is talking to you nicely, don't be disrespectful towards them, feel me? You are a professional, bro. So I don't know why he was being so disrespectful for, like, 
you got to be a professional. You got to do your job right. Like, stop being so fucking disrespectful. Like, respectfully, nigga. Like, fuck out of here, bro. So, so today, who pissed me off today, feel me? Today, I got pissed off because of the math teacher. I got pissed off because of the advisor. Now, like I said, the English, the English teacher, she was nice. She's just a little slow, feel me? Like, she's an old lady, feel me? So, we're old ladies, you feel me? It's like a thing for me, so you got. I respect her for me. She's nice. She's a nice lady. She's just old, slow, can barely hear from me. Over here no more. Fuck this fucking school. Fuck the uh, ASAP advisor. I'm going home, nigga. Like fuck this shit, nigga. Being mad, disrespectful for no fucking reason. Cause I'm not a school person. Like I'm not, bro. Like I'm not a school person, but. I want it. I want to do my shit for me. So that's why I came back to college for me. Like nobody made me go to college, nigga. I decided to come to college by myself. I decided to come to college. Ain't nobody told me to go to college, bro. I'm like, you know what? I want to do this. So I'm going to go to college. But my bitch has decided to come over here. And now look at me, bro. I don't want to come over here, bro. I want to go somewhere closer. Fuck this fucking school. I swear to God, but this fucking school pisses me off. And it's not, it's not just, like, the advice, but there's a lot of bad shit about the school, bro. I swear to God, I can go on and on and on about this shit, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro, I can go on and on. But now I'm going to move, bro, because there's mad cars now, and I don't want to stand here no more. I want to go home. So I'm going to leave, bro. I've had friends that have gone here for me, and some of them have told me that ASAP advisors, their ASAP advisors are bad. So I don't know if it's just the whole fucking company, the whole fucking organization as a whole. It probably is the whole organization as a whole. They're all assholes. They all like damage. They, they don't give a shit about the students. For me, they just come to work. They just come to work and make the students' day fucking bad. For me, like I don't know, bro. But that shit pissed me off. So I, I got out of there. Cause if I would have stayed there, hearing his bullshit, I would have gone up and I would have slapped him in the fucking face. I swear to God. I swear to God, bro. And I don't like putting my hands on people, nigga. I don't like doing that shit. Like, I'm a calm person. If you meet me, like, I'm a calm person, bro. Like, I haven't, I haven't fought nobody in years, bro. Like, shit. That's not my thing. I'd rather laugh at shit than fight at you, feel me? Keep it on me, nigga, all you dumb. At the top of two, he seen a drum.